queen of the skies, took to the horizon. She helped to carry the Aloha State's economy into the 21st century, becoming one of the top travel destinations in the world. And I echo Governor Ige's comments as well. Now, in these final moments, we come together to celebrate United Airlines 747, Queen of the Skies, with nearly a half a, cent a, half a century of class and commitment to service, excellence, and elegance. This moment in the history of Hawaii's transportation is that's coming to a close. But as we look forward to a fuel efficient, low carbon feature, future, we will never forget the sound landings, spacious aisles, and seating and beautifully unique double-decker stature. Therefore, I'd like to bid my warmest aloha to United Airlines 747. Farewell to our queen of the skies. We thank you for the long hours of flying the vast, friendly skies of United to the sun-kissed, friendly shores of Aloha. And for lifting travelers far and wide, young and seasoned, and everyone alike, to dream, believe, and experience the spirit of Aloha. Welcome, everyone. Senator Inouye. Uh, now, please welcome Boeing's Vice President and General Manager of the 747 Program, Bruce Dickinson. Okay, thank you. Uh, it just, it, it's perfectly fitting our love for this airplane that we saw an engagement on the airplane, and uh, it's just a testimony to how amazing this, this airplane is, so congratulations again. Uh, you know, for anyone that's had the fortune to spend time on this airplane, uh, it's a special relationship, just like that experience today. It's very special. Um, and some of the special qualities, I just wanted to list again the special qualities of that relationship. You know, it's, it's a relationship that's effortless and eternal attraction. I mean, look at her. She's amazing. She's beautiful. Always beautiful to look at. Um, and in some ways, even more beautiful today than 47 years ago when she first started flying here uh, and, and, and service for United. It's a relationship of, of mutual respect, trust, and teamwork. You know, really, the teams that know how to fly her, like today, maintain her, serve on her, like the amazing service we had today. Those of us flying today, was that amazing or what? Yes, yes. She treats us, us, us right, you know, the, the airline employees, the passengers, the maintenance personnel, everyone. And she's also fearless. And our pilots know that she always fight for us, protect us, and always do her very best for us, no matter what. So we, we're so grateful to that. But it's, again, this is really not an end. I mean, this is really a story of a strong future together, not only with United, but with Boeing and what the Boeing products mean here to Hawaii. Um, we've moved from the amazing technology, the 747, to what we're doing now with United on the 777-300ER, the 787, the 737 MAX. I mean, our future is incredibly bright, and our future is strong working with our amazing partners at United, and we're very excited and pleased to do that. But, you know, 747, you'll always be in our hearts, and we'll feel a little piece of you with each Boeing product that United continues to operate into the bright future that our companies and our partnership have together. Congratulations again, United, on this monumental milestone. Wow, 47 years, that's amazing. You made the airplane great. You changed the world with our incredible machine, and it took your magic, your magic to turn this machine into something that we all love and adore. So I said you know, earlier today, it's about love. It's about love we have for this incredible machine. It's about everything that goes on on board, and all I have to say really is long live the, the queen of the skies, long live United Airlines and the relationship our two companies have together, so thank you so much. Aloha. 
I'm going to keep this short and sweet after hearing 10 speeches and probably consuming three or 400 Mai Tais. <laughs> I want to thank Sammy. Uh, I was in the upper deck, and Sammy, 51 years with United Airlines. Wow. And was a flight attendant, and she makes a mean Mai Tai. <laughs> so anyways, today's flight was aptly named the Friendship as it mirrored the path of the first United 747 passenger flight. It also reflects the 47 years of history of Pratt & Whitney engines powering this great Boeing airplane for United Airlines. The history of our companies have long been intertwined, but culminate in one goal, providing the best service for the flying passengers. It's a great pleasure to be on this final flight. United certainly knows how to throw a party. And to be able to extend congratulations to every Pratt & Whitney employee to, on United's final flight of this Boeing 747 fleet and the retirement of this magnificent aircraft. Thank you very much. Well, this concludes our program for Flight 7, UA 747. It's been quite a day. Thank you all to our customers, our employees, for not just today, but for the 47 years of this remarkable aircraft's life with United. You can feel the love in the room, and I, I have a feeling that is not gonna change anytime soon. So enjoy it, enjoy her, enjoy each other. It's been a pleasure to send all her off in style. Thank you, mahalo. Enjoy Hawaii. absolutely love the giant lay the 747 has been draped in here. Fortunately we don't have the uh, greatest uh, sky and lighting conditions here but there's still a beauty for sure. So I just canceled my listing to Newark and DCA as they are about 23 minutes from departure. There's just no way I could run over there and get on another plane immediately. So I'm going to go to the United Club after the festivities here upon arrival and then try to um, sort out if I'm gonna stay here tonight and go back tomorrow or get on a flight later tonight or what. I'm so tired right now. All, all I wanna do is just go to sleep. <laughs> Oh wow, look, customized shirt this guy's got here. Farewell to the queen. Not every day you see an enormous leg draped over an airplane. Very cool. Captain coming off the plane. So uh, he did say when I was visiting the cockpit, the plane is going back empty to San Francisco first. Uh, I guess they will be taking some United equipment uh, that they're going to keep off the plane and then it will be ferried about one hour southeast to uh, the Southern California Logistics Airport at Victorville where it will be stripped and retired. Oh wow, look at this, uh, speaking of retro, look at this retro uh, arrivals board here with the, the letters and stickers that are peeling off. That must be for international rivals, maybe, I'm guessing, to go up the escalator into uh, the customs and immigration facilities. Yeah, no view from this side, got the jetway in the way. Sorry.
So there's uh, ABC7 from Chicago over here that's getting ready to do a, uh, a live report.